so here at the, uh, the FAMIL session, or the official training, or captain's run, whatever you want to call it, it's the last chance, or the only chance that the All Whites will get to um, have a wander around the MCG and get a taste for conditions um, like they'll be tomorrow night. Um, and by the looks of it, Ricky is announcing uh, his starting 11 for the Australia game uh, to the team just before they uh, do their final session. It's been a pretty um, hectic three days back in New Zealand. Um, obviously, the, the guys uh, as a full squad don't get to New Zealand uh, very often, so to have a, have a 23 that's going off to South Africa to represent New Zealand at a World Cup is a pretty big deal. Um, and, and there's obviously been a lot of interest, and uh, the players have been great. They've been uh, very accessible. I mean, they signed, sort of, I think, close to 2,000 uh, autographs yesterday for, for fans who turned out at Sky City. Um, probably a little bit tired at, at the moment, and um, perhaps looking forward to, to actually doing some playing and, and, and then uh, getting on to Austria and, and getting down to some uh, hard work. Well, Ricky, uh, starting 11. Yeah, it's been a tough one, but um, we've decided to leave a, a couple of uh, new players out. Um, we'll look at them as, a, as the program sort of moves forward. But um, no, Paston, um, Sigmund, Nelson, Vesilic, Bertos, Lockhead, Elliot, Brown, Smeltz, Fallon, and Killen. Is it play safe? Is that the way you're looking at it? Or is it uh, just blood those guys later in the second half like the Winston Reeds, the people that we were expecting? Gone with three attackers. Three uh, pretty lethal attackers, I'd say. So, um, no, I don't think we're showing any sort of um, caution. But I think it's important from our point of view that uh, we get out of it what we need, you know. And I'm sure Pim will want the same from Australia's point of view. And what do you need? Well, just some good performances. You know, it's been a long time since November 14, but uh, we're back on the track. Boys are excited, and uh, I think there's good feeling around the camp. But uh, we'll be a bit short, but underdone. Um, but it's a good occasion. Play the Australians again. I haven't been here for five years. What's the main reason for you for going for, I guess, experience rather than any experiments? I think it's just some stability, really, Gordy. I think it's, um, you know, it's the first one up, and we, we just feel that's the right way to go. Is it the best 11? I'd be strongly questioning that at the moment. I think from what I've seen over the last few days is uh, there's some real talent on the side and uh, yeah, I think you could see some variation certainly before uh, Slovakia. And have you gone with this 11 because it's what you know and because you need some solidity, you need a strong performance in, in this game against this player? Um, our people will make out of it what they want to make out of it, but it's kind of neither here nor there for us. I think at the end of the day we know where we want to be against Slovakia and you know the the blinkers will be f you know firmly on to, to make sure we get get what we need and, and get to that place when we need to get to it. Is this game as important uh, as you know, your other warm-up matches against Serbia? Yeah, look, I think they're all important, but you know I think they're all going to have a degree of something. Um, you know, it's just Australia versus New Zealand, isn't it? It's a trans Tasman rivalry, and great. I think there'll there'll be a lot of a lot of passion, a lot of heart in it, but. Uh, you know, I think we've gone for, for a group that's come off the back of Bahrain, so there's a good understanding. We've had two and a half sessions, so not a lot of time. Um, and it probably just gives us an easier way into the program than uh, making a whole raft of changes. With you guys like uh, Woz, uh, Reid, Smith, can they expect game time tomorrow? And if so, how much? I'd, ho I'd hope so, Fred, because um, you probably named three there that you know, I'd suggest going to be knocking very firmly on the door to, to start against Slovakia. Um, but we'll just see how the, the game pans out. I mean, you know, and make sort of multiple changes just just for the sake of it. But, uh, you know, play, players are at different levels, different sort of. You know, the, their campaigns are finished with their clubs, so some need a little bit more time on the park than others. And uh, I mean, you've got Ryan Nelson, who's you know played 34, 35 massive games this year. So uh, we need to be careful with some of them. How has uh, Winston Reid fitted into the squad over the last three, four days? He's been, he's been great. You know, for a very mature young boy. Um, yeah, he's, he's been great. I think his performances every every session, albeit a few of them, have, have, have been better. So no, I've, I've really liked what I've seen. Do you go in with the hope that you're going to use your full complement of allowed substitutions tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it's six plus a plus a keeper now. But with, with Mark Swartz being injured, and that's fine, and we're happy to support that. But uh, um, six is quite a lot. But um, oh, never say never. You've know, been caught with that one before, so uh, maybe only made a couple of changes, but. Uh, Players need some time, so hopefully we can get as many on as we can. Ricky, we heard Frank Van Adam uh, call Australian football chicken shit for, for not playing us. 
Uh, does that make the result in this match important for, for what could happen in the future? Probably best ask Frank that one, aren't you? Is the result important tomorrow night? Oh look, I think, um, I think from Australia's point of view, they're going to be here, it's their home game. They'll be farewelling their fans. Um, you know, I think it's important for them. But um, you know, this is as close as what it can be for us, for a, for a home fixture, and, and, and that's good. Um, but look, I'm sure they want to win. I'm sure you know, we'll, we'll certainly want to win. Even the, the playing in the stadium tomorrow night, uh, you know, you always get sober. Is that kind of a bit of a sign of how far this team has come? Yeah, it's come a long way, and I think we spoke about it, or Ryan did in the, in the media conference today. I thought it was a good point. I mean, Socceroos have only been to one World Cup more than us, um, and they only got there a few years ago. So, you know, we're back there now, which is great, and it's important, but you know, we've come a hell of a long way. I mean, it's a completely different group. and. You know, tomorrow night's result may have no reflection on that, but um, you know, I can tell you it's come a long way, personally. Do you think your team will enjoy playing in this, in this stadium tomorrow night? I know Mexico was 90,000 as well, but you know... So. <laughs> I was going to say, it's probably a few down from Mexico, so we're probably going to be disappointed. But no, look, I, I'm, I'm sure the noise and, and the crowd's going to be great, but um, hopefully there's a few more sort of white shirts getting waved in the crowd. Well, the history of this ground from New Zealand sport, um, what do you make of it? Cricket? Is it? Yeah. Did, underarm, we, did underarm. we win here? Oh, sorry, underarm. A yeah. long wow. time ago. Well, there you go. That's a nice sort of uh, omen to come back. No, look, I, uh, like anybody, I want the team to play well. I want the players to play well, and you know, the, they'll be under the pump and under pressure, and you know, their first hit out for such a long time. But hey, this is the start of the program. So great.